hey hey loves welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here welcome and do not forget to subscribe in today's video we will be redoing this space for my pup so let's get started so i want to start off by saying that this video was recorded months ago this is my former dog his name is luca he was a shizu um so long story short um luca he was not um the friendliest um he was very feisty and he was very aggressive um not only that but he was biting my children as well as me um so we decided to part ways with him and i think that was just the best decision for myself and my family um, but I still wanted to upload this video because, I mean, I recorded it, so why not? And, you know, someone may need to know or may need an idea of what to do with a space for the pup. Make it more homey, make it, you know, more aesthetic and blend in with their living space. So here it goes. Um, so this crate I got off of Amazon. It was like $178. It came with the padding um that you just seen on the inside as well so i don't think it was a bad deal at all and it kind of looks like a a table almost like it doesn't look like your normal dog crate so i love that as well and it was wood made out of wood um i also went ahead and purchased him a few new items so this is a um a dog and water um plate dispenser or whatever you want to call it bowl bowls dog bowls <laughs> um that i got off of amazon which i absolutely love i love the aesthetic of it um but i did decide to spray paint it black which you guys will see later in the video um this right here i've been seeing these floating around but normally they're used for like uh pasta in the pantry and things like that but i decided that i'm gonna use it for you know dog food dog treats um teething type um treats or whatever you want to call them and it turned out super cute so i think it was a, a real good idea and i love the look of the canister so up next is this bowl that i got off of amazon as well um i got it is so it could be like a catch-all bowl for like his toys his leash his collars and things like that um but in the end you will see i end up changing that as well this right here is a doggy doorbell. So whenever he has to potty, only thing he has to do is press the um, press the little button uh, that has the paw on it, and it'll make a sound letting me know that he has to go to the restroom. So when I saw that, I was like, "Oh yeah, I got to get that because the potty bells." Um, he really doesn't like them, um, but with this with the doorbell, he loved it. Um, I also picked up. Um, this sign right here from Amazon as well. Dog fur is just a part of the core. Thought it was super cute. Um, this dog and leash set was like $12, y'all. $12. You get two collars and a leash off of Amazon. $12. I was like, oh, you cannot beat this. And they have like different patterns and styles and things like that. And it was super cute on him. I absolutely love this on him. Um, but yeah, that's that. So as I previously stated, um, I did spray paint the dog bowl. Um, I just think black looks much better in my space. I don't know. I'm kind of obsessed with black lately. Black is black is my color right now. <laughs> um, so I did spray paint this, but um, I don't know if it's the the paint that I use or what this is like the dollar the dollar can from walmart it's like a dollar and some change i didn't use the name brand i just used what i had in my garage and over over the course of the months you know it started um peeling and chipping and stuff like that uh this is the brand right here color i think it's color place um so i don't really recommend that So I just wanted you guys to hear, you know, a couple of sounds for the doorbell. Um, you have several sounds to choose from. So whatever your preference is, um, you know, that'll be on you. Um, it also comes with the sticky thing or whatever, so you can attach it to your wall. And like I said before, he absolutely loved it. It worked like a charm and it was easy potty training him. 
Um, so now I'm going to actually start decorating the tabletop. Um, first, I went ahead and dusted it off because, you know, black attracts major, major dust. Um, and then I went ahead and sanitized the top as well. Um, cause by, at this point, this is like the next day. So he's already in his crate and getting, you know, adjusted to it. Um, I do have a big canister full of dog food, but I thought that these would be much cuter. So this is what I went with. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I got that big old scooper for that tiny little canister, that is why it's from his big dog canister. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill these up and you guys will see the results. So I got these from Burlington. No, not Burlington. I got them from Ross. Um, $3.99 for some dog treats. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I made a quick trip to Ross the next day. As you can see, I had a wardrobe change. I was not feeling the ketchup bowl, so I had to run to Ross and find me something that fit my space. And I came across this, and I absolutely love it. Super cute. I actually came across this as well. I was not there for that, but look at how it turned out. Look at that. Um, and this is the finished result. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I really hope this video helps someone make their space more aesthetic while having a pup. Um, if you guys like this video, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bye-bye, loves.